Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. So today I'm going to walk you through uh, taking an attic access and making it bigger. If you don't know already, I do heating air conditioning in my career, my full-time job. And a lot of times we have an attic that we've got to replace or install a brand new system. In this case, my neighbor is getting his system replaced and needs a bigger access hole. So I decided to put the GoPro on my head, hit record, do the project, and kind of walk you through narrating it what I'm doing, what my thought process is through it, and maybe this will assist you and help you in making an access hole or making in one bigger. So let's jump right into it. All right, so as you can tell, the first thing was just to take all the old trim off and to get the old frame out so that we had a nice clean slate to work with. Now, basically, I went to the ends of the ceiling joist, which are pretty close to about 22 and a half inches. Uh, they are 24 inches on center, but by the time you go from end to end, you're around about 22, 22 and a half inches. So with the frame out, I could push back the insulation and find where the wall top plate is and as you can see it's pretty easy to see not every house is going to be like this uh, this insulation is very easy to work with and I'm used to this stuff but generally if you're not you're going to want to use a respirator and maybe wear some gloves and wear some safety glasses that was what I was wearing at the time of making this video and on that anytime you're hammering something above you make sure you're wearing safety glasses And using the board that I had pre-cut that's going to go in between the two joists, I used as a line so I can get a nice straight line back to the end of the room. And this is going to end up being the entire width of this closet so that we can have as much space as possible. And then I'm just going to attach the board that I just used as the frame for one end and then we're going to repeat the process on the other. So before I cut the drywall with my reciprocating saw, I always like to score it with a razor knife just so that I don't have tear out beyond where I am cutting. That way it will look good when you put the trim on. And just another quick reminder, whenever you're doing stuff like this above your head, wear safety glasses. It's so important. All right, so now on to the trim. I basically went a very, very simple route. I wanted this thing to be able to have some strength behind it to hold the board above it. So I just went from straight end to end, no mitered corners, and put them spaced halfway in the board. That way, half of it overhangs the drywall and the other half is actually on the ceiling. That'll kind of create a lip just for the board to set on. 
So with this trim, you can decide to use some really nice door trim and miter the corners. It's all up to you on how fancy you want to do it. And instead of using a board on the top, you can use a piece of drywall if you want to save some weight. And now for the final part of the entire project is to measure and cut the board that's going to go in this hole. I actually had a piece of MDF which is quite heavy but it also was the perfect size for this hole. Okay guys, that's pretty much gonna be about it. Um, this thing really turned out great. In fact, I think it's probably the biggest access that I've ever made. Um, and I think we're gonna be really happy when we go to replace this system. So I hope that it helped you out. If you've kinda came here because of maybe this HVAC world, I've got a couple of the videos that actually uh, talk about it. I've made a platform before. It kinda looks more like a deck or a patio. Then I also had a video on cutting a hole in the floor for a floor vent. So one of those videos Sounds interesting to you. They're going to be here at the end of the video too. But guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time right here in the world.